Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in 3ds Max for beginners. I am architect Sono Rai from Gladys Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you about boolean and pro boolean commands from compound objects in 3ds Max. So first we need to understand the definition of boolean and pro boolean. So if you go to your Autodex or website, you can look for pro boolean compound objects. So you can see that a boolean object combines two or more other objects by performing a boolean boolean operation and pro boolean offers a range of functionalities such as the ability to combine multiple object at once so the basic difference is that in boolean you have to perform one by one and in pro boolean you can do it at, at once so suppose if you want to subtract window uh, openings from wall you can use pro boolean at once and for boolean also it is almost similar but you have to perform one by one but in the recent version of 3ds max you can do uh, at once in boolean also so we need to understand this in our 3ds max so i have selected one wall here with some boxes here so i need to uh, use boolean and pro boolean so if i am going to my standard primitives here and I, if i am going to select this third one compound objects you can see this boolean and pro boolean are in fade color that means it's not activated so uh, as soon as if you select any of the object it will be activated here so now you can see this is the boolean and the pro boolean so first we'll see here boolean so i'm going to select this boolean here and you will select boolean you can see this is the name and color of wall one and you can see the boolean parameters here this is add operand so add operands so first our operand is wall and the next operand uh, these boxes are suppose this wall is a operand a and the boxes is operand b so now we can see this is the operands wall one is given here and it will bring this down here you can see we can remove operands also if you want to remove operands and now you can see operand parameters here this is union if you want to make union of these operands two operands you can use union and if you want to subtract you can use subtract generally we use this subtraction to deduct our window openings and door openings from wall in 3ds max modeling for architecture and interior design and you can also intersect this and you can merge this so suppose if i am going to select here subtract first sub and now you can also see this this is the material apply operand material so if you want to apply the material of the wall to this you can use this apply uh, operand material and you can also retain original material you can select any of these and this is display result so now i will simply go and select add operand here and now i am going to add this operand and i will select subtraction from this list so i'm going to select this subtract so i'm going to now select this and you can see this is the opening which is created so this is a door opening and it is not fully down here so we'll bring our boxes down here first so i will first i will change this box setting and i will bring it further down so i want to create door opening so now again i will uh, select any of the object here and i will go to boolean and i will subtract and i will click add operands so we will see first here this is the union and i will select this subtract here so now i am going to subtract this box opening from this wall you can see this is the something like a door opening which will be very handy in our 3ds max modeling of a building so you can see this is subtracted from this now if i am going to select intersect here and i will perform again i am going to select boolean and now i will add another operand so we'll use this time union and you can see apply operand material so i have selected apply operand material here and now i am going to add operand this box here and now this is a union so you can see it has applied all this operand material here so in the union so now again i will perform another action here and i will go to 
boolean here and i will again use next here and now i am going to intersect here and i will insert intersect this wall and this box so now i am going to add a print and i will select box here and you can see this is intersection and it has applied operand material of wall so now you can repeat this one by one and you can simply understand this how you can apply operand material and you can retain original material and this is the display result and it will select operands here it will display operands here so now we will select uh, this result so this is the basic function of boolean and now the next is pro boolean so pro boolean is also you can perform all the action simultaneously so if i go here and now i am going to select this wall and i am going to select pro boolean so now in pro boolean it is also same you can change the wall color suppose if you want to change the color of wall you can do it from here and now this is the peak boolean peak boolean here and you can start picking you can select this and whether you want a reference copy or instance or move so you can select this i will tell you how you can do this and now this is the parameters you can make a union you can make intersection you can subtract also you can merge also and you can attach or insert and this is the result here and the same thing here apply open material retain original material so likewise you can use this pro boolean and now i am going to first subtract this so i am going to click this start picking and now i will first select instance here and i will tell you the difference and now i am going to start picking and i will pick this box here and you can see this is instance here and if we, if you uh, move this box here you can see opening is created but it has created instance of this box so if i am going to modify the size of this box you can see uh, the width is increasing and decreasing as we changing the instance here you can see the door is increasing and decreasing so this is the benefit of using instance so now the next i am going to again to my compound objects and i will select this wall and now i will select again pro boolean and now i will make a copy here so in copy i will start picking here and i will pick this and uh, subtraction is selected here and you can see uh, if i am moving this box here you can see opening is created but in copy if you will change the parameters like this, suppose if i am changing width it is changing in object but not in opening but as soon as if you will change the parameters in instances you can change the opening width and height so likewise you can perform these actions so again i am going to pro boolean and now i will make a union and i will use this apply or brand material so now i am going to start picking so i'm going to pick this one and you can see it has applied operand material to this box so there is similarity in boolean and pro boolean so you can use any of these so it is better to use pro boolean in advanced version of 3ds max and in the lower version of 3ds max you have to perform this action in boolean one by one and in pro boolean you can do it at once suppose if you want to deduct these openings at once so you have to use pro boolean and if you want to perform this action one by one in lower version of 3ds max you have to use boolean so this is the tutorial for today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in 3ds max so please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye